Hello, welcome to Sibling Family. I'm Donata. And I'm Reggie. And we are reviewing um, one of our Labor Day movies, Hell or High Water. And so, Hell or High Water is about two brothers that are robbing banks in West Texas, and they're being tracked by two Texas Rangers. Mm -hmm. And so, what did you think about the movie? I liked it. I did. It wasn't like uh, over action, or it was a drama. It was a... It was. It had action it's, in it. I'm gonna tell you what it was, and I knew it was gonna be this. It was a killing me softly. Yeah. It was yeah. a killing me softly. A whatever well, that other. Explain it to them because a lot of them. Haven't okay, seen killing me softly. me softly are these these intense, mm -hmm. uh, intense movies about thefts or some type of plot. It has a really thick and heavy plot with these deep mm -hmm. characters. You learn all about these characters or whatever. Mm -hmm. But they're doing action stuff. So they're robbing a bank or they are trying to plan a break-in or they're doing something really, really big. Mm -hmm. But it, it seems quiet, but it's like people are getting shot in the head. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Very true. People are getting shot in the head. So. Very, very good way to describe it. Um, So the movie stars Chris Pine, who you most of you know is Captain Kirk. Barry Pepper, who's been in a lot of movies, but I can't... He was in a mechanic. Yes, that's right. He, he was, was in the was first mechanic. mechanic. That's he was right. the first mechanic. It's, that's he, not Barry uh, Pepper. Gee whiz, that's the wrong No, one. no, that's... That's the guy. I'm thinking about the guy from Stephen Proud Ryan's Barry Pepper. This guy's name is... uh, I don't remember, but, but he's a good right dude. Now. But he's, he's a, a good, good, good actor. Dude. He always plays this crazy yeah, character yeah. with somebody always acting a fool. Right, right. And then Jeff Bridges is in it, who I love in the movie. He was my favorite character in the movie. He did a... Did you like him? I liked him. I mean, his, he has a deep southern yeah. accent. Right. And he plays that kind of character very well. But I mean, uh, he did it in, what's the, the, the crazy ghost movie where you come back to life as a police officer and then you kill the Oh, ghost? yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, R.I.P.D. 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 Oh. R.I.P.D. Yeah, same, same, same character. character. Same guy. Same exact guy. That's a good same point. Character. Um, Very, um... Witty, smart mouth, very smart. But one of those guys, like you, you would think is if you just heard his southern drawl and saw how he talked, he looks kind of absent-minded, but is very smart. Very knows smart. knows what he's doing. I mean, you can tell he's been in the business for for a while. His uh, partner is a half Native American, half Mexican, yeah. uh, Texas Ranger as well, and so they have this weird friendship where they throw shots at each other. I mean, yeah, it's, it is deep, hilarious. Deep, it's like deep cut, like stuff that you. That I will be fighting people to say right. this. He, they say some real deep stuff. So, yes, yeah. <laughs> but uh, like you said, the plot is really unique. And, very unique. And why they rob, why, why they are robbing right. these banks is that they're they are doing it uniquely and they are doing it for a good reason. Right. And see, it's, you, you kind of con contrast that with Don't Breathe, which we, you know, watched uh, Friday. Friday. And we, if you saw the review. I always say this in every, every review, which I know you did. I know you saw the review. You would see that we said that nobody was good in there. They were. They really didn't have a really good motive. But this movie, some of them were bad, or were just bad. But then some of them people were good, and they were just doing a bad thing for a good reason. How about that? Um, if the 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 good one, if, the, if, if if everything had been followed correctly, and then I don't think anybody would have gotten hurt. Put it that way. That's, that's true. And so. I think Reggie um, asked for a movie. He just asked for a movie a couple of movies ago that had a, that had a, 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 a money scheme in it mm -hmm. and where nobody got greedy. And this is that movie. That's true. Nobody got greedy in this movie. That's true. That's true. Even no, a bad person. Nobody got greedy in this movie. I, this is a really this is a really good movie, and I'm gonna tell you something very unique. I don't know if you r realize it or not. It is an original soundtrack to this movie, and the soundtrack is really good. If you are into country music, which I kind of am, it is a really good movie. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's a I mean, like uh, the the music in it, and it kind of it just lays right on top of it, right. and different things is happening, and and I I don't know if Jeff Bridges and the other guy performing because they can actually sing. They they did a um, if you look it up on CBS Good Morning when they had them on there talking about the movie, they did some guitar and kind of sang because oh, yeah. they can sing and perform because they do that for hobbies. Oh really? Yeah. I know that. Well, you know the the movie is 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 it's intense, but it's not one of those intense where you're gonna be able to edge your seat. Right. It's not one of those. It's like just like the said, it's 
kill yourself. You're like you, ju you just kind of watch it, see every how everything um, unfolds, and then it's at the end. Of the, the next thing you know, it's at the end. You know what I mean? But it's it's very entertaining getting from beginning to end. I mean, it starts out entertaining from the very beginning all the way to the end. And the brother of Captain Kirk, that's what we'll call. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I literally don't think that you learn their names until the end. Like yeah. I, I didn't even know their names. I think until the very end because I mean that's just how it kind of worked right. out. But when, when you um, see him, you you I mean you know he's been in a lot of movies. He's one of those guys that you might not know his name, but he's been in a lot of movies. You've seen him in a lot. But of he's movies. hilarious. Yeah. He's, like everything he says, I'm just like. Right. Why are you saying that to a person? Right. He's for us. So I just, I think that's a good thing to see. Everybody kept telling us, y'all got to see it, you got to see it. It's yeah. something that's not getting a lot of publicity or right. anything like that. But it's got, you know, big names in it, and I think that it's something good to see. Yeah, and I think, you know, it's good to see a movie like that that's kind of like not mainstream. Mm -hmm. I, I, I actually think we should see more of those, which I think we will. Yeah, I think we'll look at some stuff. Mm -hmm. Like Mr. Church, what you think? Mr. Church. Mr. Church seems like it's going to be good. I know. I almost cried watching this trailer. You're going to be crying in the movie. <laughs> All right. Check us out at Sibling Family. We've got some family videos up um, on our Facebook page. It's Sibling Filmery, F-I-L-M-A-L-R-Y. See you next time.